Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I love you for watching. If you're first time, welcome. If you've been viewing me, welcome as well. It's your girl Ina, just to do a short video about scripture. We'll read it, talk about it, and we'll be done, okay? So my scripture reading, guys, is going to be coming from the book of Isaiah. 54. I'm going to start from verse 1. It says, Sing, O Barry, that did is not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. Thou that did is not travail. What a child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, says the Lord. And verse 2 says, Enlarging the place of your tent, and let them shred forth the cotton of nigh habitation. Spare not, spare not, letting thy core and strengthen their stake. And verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentile, and make that desolate city to be inhabitant. Okay, guys, and verse 4 says, Fear not. For thou shalt not be ashamed, neither shalt thou be comforted. For thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. And thou shalt not remember the reproach of the widowhood anymore. Okay, verse 5 says, For thy maker is thy husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the womb earth shall he be called okay in verse 6 says for the lord had called thee as a woman forsaken and grievous in spirit and a wife of a youth when that was refused says the lord okay so god is saying to the widows to those of that have no kids god says he is your husband and if god is your husband he fulfill all your needs he supply all your needs according to your riches, his riches and glory to Christ Jesus. You don't need a man because God can give you more than a man can ever give you. God will never leave nor forsake you. God will never break your heart like man does. Man will tell you one thing and do another. Man will disappoint you. God will not disappoint you. Okay? Man will break your heart. God will never break your heart. Men will lie to you when God say yes, he mean yes. When he say no, he mean no. Because he's not a man that he shall lie. Okay? So I'm speaking to all the widows out there that lost their husband, love their or lost people that they that are dearly to them that they love. Do not give up, do not lose hope. Okay? Your redeemer live it, and he is your husband. And he is your comforter. Okay? God will comfort any widows that are out there that is watching me. And God is your husband. And he's gonna fulfill all your needs. But you just have to come to him, surrender to him, and lay your burden upon him, and he will hear your cry and wipe your tears. So I'm speaking to all those that are out there that are lost, that have lost their loved one in any way, shape, or form. Okay, accident or sudden death. Now you think you're alone, you're never alone if you believe in God and you have God on your side. God said he's always with you, even unto the end of the earth. So if you're a widow or widower, depend on God he's your husband he's your maker okay his word says sing O barren so he's telling you to sing do not weep but sing be joyful okay you that do not bear okay he said break forth in singing and cry aloud okay you that did not travail you did you that did not bring for a child into this world okay he says, sing aloud. He says, enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch for the curtain of night habitation. Spare not. He said, letting, okay, lengthen their core and strengthen their stick. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and the sea shall inherit the Gentile. So it's the Lord, is saying, the Lord is saying to you that is barren, your sea shall inherit the Gentile. Okay. He says, fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. God says, you barren woman, you barren man, you shall not be ashamed. Neither be comforted, comforted. 
for thou shalt not be put to shame so god is saying that even though your husband is gone your wife is gone you will not be put to shame because he's with you he's your husband he's your maker he's your redeemer he's your comforter okay we just have to call upon him and believe in him and trust him okay guys do not weep sing for the lord is saying that for for the maker is the husband so you barren women your maker god is your husband you barren man your maker god is your husband god said he's your husband god can be to you more than a husband can ever be to you god can comfort you more than any husband can be able to comfort you okay god can protect you and give you peace that any husband can ever give you peace or any wife can ever give you peace but trust in him god guys if you have lost a loved one god is there to comfort you god is there to see you through okay god will send you another mate after his own heart but you just have to be patient and believe in him and trust him he's your comforter he's with you day in and day out so do not we do not cry okay guys god is with you he's your husband he's your maker okay this is just scriptures to encourage other widows and widowers out there to depend on god and continue to trust in him and continue to lean on him and not onto your own understanding and he will direct your path and guide you and comfort you and send you another mate at the right time and at the right place do not weep sing for or barren okay your redeemer live it and he is going to comfort you during any try times that you're going through he is going to wipe your tears away he's going to turn things around for you okay and give you the best because he loves you okay guys so this is your girl ina just here to encourage all those that are barren that are out there that have lost loved ones that have lost family members that are weeping wipe your tears guys the holy spirit is going to wipe your tears and god is going to comfort you during this very difficult time so i want to encourage you if you don't know jesus to surrender your life to him the life is sure guys the more is not promised we're only passing by here nobody know when their time will come so just say this sharp prayer after me lord jesus actually come into my heart make me your own forgive me for every name and sin wash me clean write my name to limp book of life i ask you to lead me, direct me, continue to uphold me, okay? And I surrender my soul to you. I say bye-bye to this world, and I give my all to you. And I pray you forgive me for this and I've sinned against you. Wash me clean, make me whole, and save my soul from hell. Simple as that, guys, you're safe. God forbid if you die today, you know you're not going to hell, you're going to heaven. Because Jesus is soon to return. Everything that is showing that his coming is near okay the bible said there shall be wars and rumors of war when his coming is near okay the bible said men shall be lovers of themselves but not of god will sin the right in front of our eye his coming is near guys so surrender your life to him live for him okay do what he has called you to do okay guys it's your girl Ina. see you in my next video and i love you for watching thank you see you next time be safe go with god he'll always go with you Mm-hmm. <laughs>